Hi, I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to talk to you about the rebuilding of the relief valve for the 2.5 through 6 inch model 375 and 375A backflow prevention assemblies. Now again, I do have a 2.5 through 6 relief valve here. I've pulled the bolts out of the cover so that I could take the valve apart and I want to show you the critical areas inside. Now customers will call me and they'll say, John, I've got to rebuild my backflow preventer. It's been leaking for a while but I don't want to spend a bunch of money and time on repair parts if my rebuild's not going to be successful. So again, that's what I'm going to point out are those areas where you'll want to look at first, and as long as those areas are good, there's absolutely no reason why the rebuild of this relief valve would not be successful. So again, I've taken this apart. The first area that I'd like for you to look at is within the relief valve cover. Now, this bore internally is very, very smooth bore, and we have a plunger that rides in there with an O-ring on that plunger. So what that does is it, this O-ring seals off atmosphere inside that area. If we get a lot of pitting in this area or a lot of green patina growth, that growth that you get on copper alloys, the green coating, that will cause that O-ring to leak and you'll have weep hole leakage. You'll actually have water coming out of that weep hole. So what I'd like for you to do, if you sense that patina in there, take some fine emery cloth or fine sandpaper and get inside and polish that surface back out. You want it nice and smooth and shiny so that that O-ring can slide and can seal within that surface. If you're cleaning that surface and you know it's got a lot of deep pitting in there, in other words, corrosion from the water, it's attacked the bronze and it's left little holes and divots in there, you'll definitely want to replace that cover. Again, that's a sealing surface for the O-ring on the plunger. And what will happen is we've got water inside here. It'll leak right by that O-ring and end up coming out of the weep hole. So anytime you see water coming out of the weep hole, you want to clean up that O-ring surface inside the cover. And again, if it's deeply pitted, the cover will have to be replaced. Now, with respect to the body itself, when you buy a standard rubber repair kit, the seats are not present in that kit because most of the time you never need the seat. So in this case, we still have the original factory installed seat inside the relief valve body. I want you to take your fingernail and go around the seat profile. And that's the sharp part of the seat that's going to bite into the rubber seal ring of this diaphragm assembly. If you feel any dings or divots in that seat, if they're very, very light, usually you can take that emery cloth and sharpen that seat up a little bit. That'll allow it to bite back into the rubber and to seal effectively. But if you note that there are any chips out of that seat profile, in other words, little deep dings and divots or a hunk of plastic knocked out, you're going to have to replace that seat. It's a fairly straightforward process. The seat is just threaded into position, so you can get a hold of it and unthread it. Out it'll come. Well, in fact, in this case, it's not even threaded. I apologize for that. It just popped into place. But again, if you find that seat is really chipped and dinged, you're going to have to replace that seat, and that's a separate repair kit. So let's just kind of go through those two things again. We want to inspect the cover inside where the O-ring slides, and if it's pitted, we're going to replace the cover, but if it just has a coating of patina, we can take some fine emery cloth and clean that up. In the case of the relief valve seat, we're going to take our fingernail and feel that seat profile. And if it's chipped, we're going to replace the seat. But if it's just a light little ding in there, we can usually take some emery cloth and sharpen that back up very gently so it will bite into the rubber and you'll get a good effective seal and the relief valve will test correctly. In the event that none of this is clear to you, I strongly encourage you folks to call us at Zurn Industries. We'll walk you through this process. We'll give you any additional tips or advice that you may request. We want to make this easy for you and we want to make it successful the first time around. So don't hesitate to call us.